Hello there everybody, welcome back to my channel. Look, it's been a long time since I have actually done any of these little uh, helpful tips and hints and ideas. That's probably because there's a lot of people doing them already uh, and there's plenty of advice and plenty of stuff out there. I just felt like doing it uh, over and over again, different thing, different person, same information can get a little boring. But what I'm actually doing today is uh, the migration events on. So that means that if you're in a server and we have a server, unfortunately our server is D-E-A-D, -E dead. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. There's some toxic people on here and we really, we tried to save it. And on the last migration event, we, we brought in a, another alliance that came in and we done our best but we're still struggling with a uh, toxic alliance here. So we've all decided that we're going to move on. So where we're moving is um, top secret anyway, so I'm not going to mention too much about where we're moving, but I think it's a really important thing to talk about is migration. Some of you people have never done this before, and hands up, I am one of them. I have not actually never done a migration event before. So what will probably happen and if you haven't had one before just sort of follow through what I'm doing because I'm pretty much going through this blindly and I'm just going to help you guys do it as well. So what happens before the migration is you get a, uh, a letter from the Ant Studio which is the fairy and fairy will come and tell you about what's happening. So if I click on to um, over here over here on the migration group the coming zone migration it gives you all the rules about what you have to do and basically we are 253 so we're group two so that means that we can go anywhere between so um server 151 to server 300 so any of those uh servers we can migrate to, um, into so if you're already with an alliance uh, you may have discussed this with your alliance about whether you're going to go or you're going to stay or you're going to help recruit people into your um, into your zone, basically, um, or your server, should I say. I should say server, but zone migration, your zone, server, whatever, all interchangeable. So have a discussion. Obviously, if you're staying... Um, you might want to recruit new people in there if you feel like your server's just not getting anywhere. So that's basically where we're at. So we're going to be actually moving. So this is the first time I've actually moved. So read this through. And what's really, really important about this is if you look down here where I'm touching, um, you need to have these things called server migration tokens. So this is really important. So if you're down in your lower... Uh, your lower hill levels it basically tells you how much and if you're hill 15 to 17 you only need one 18 to 19 two and so on I'm level 25 so I'm going to need 15 which is quite a lot and they can be quite costly so where you find those as I will just show you go to your inventory which is down here go to other and then if you look in is it other or is it buff sorry it could be buff i'm sorry i apologize it's actually this one here so if you look at your teleports you've got your advanced teleport here um i don't think i've got any of the other teleports um can't see for looking but i don't think i've got any of the other teleports but anyway it's this one it's an orangey colored one and if I click on it, it says zone migration. During the event to new homeland, you can use them to migrate to other zones. The amount of consumption of the item depends on your queen level. So my queen level is 25. I need 15, and which I have already. Now, if you do not have enough of them, where you can find them is if you go to Alliance down here and click on the Alliance button, and then you click on your Store button. And up will come all of this stuff up here that this is basically your alliance will give you all these st this stuff. If you're actually an R3 or an R4, I think it's R4, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think R3s can do it because I'm an R3. Um, 
you can actually use alliance points to actually put some of these out. So if you actually don't have any there, you can actually use your alliance points. This is different to your alliance contribution points in which you can purchase stuff. So your alliance cont contribution points are for you to buy stuff, but your alliance points just in general is to actually purchase the um, item list stuff so you can put it in the store. So if you're sort of running out of like um, speed ups, etc., you can actually put them in. But I think it's limited to um, R3s up, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Quote me if I'm wrong. So anyway, it's over here and you can see that each, um, so I'll go back to store, each one is worth 250 alliance, 250,000, sorry, alliance contribution points. So you just want to make sure that you've got enough for your queen level. So you can purchase those, you just click on it and you purchase as many as you need. And as you can see, like the amount will go up. So you really need to make sure that you're contributing to your alliance and contribution comes from doing your evolution trees for your alliance so when you contribute to that you get some points for that so that's what you need to do so far so that's just the first part of it and I will do part two when we come up to the actual day which is coming up in about two days I think about two days so I'll just post this one up for any of those people who are ready to um, get prepared to do the alliance migration so I hope this helps this is just part one stay tuned for part two when I actually show you what we do and um, yeah sorry I haven't been around much but there hasn't really been a lot for me to say I will probably go into a little bit more on um, orange ants etc so yeah Thanks a lot for tuning in and have a great day and happy uh, farming on your ant farms. Bye guys.